Hi, this is Shonda Frawl. And I'm Katie Lutz. And we are with Edina Public Schools doing a screencast for the e Academy about absolute pitch. Now, our last screencast told us what absolute pitch is and why we have it. And we talked about how the lines and spaces have names. But it can sometimes be tricky to remember what letter goes with what line or what space. So, Ms. Lutz has a great wrap to show you um, a way to remember this. But before we do that, we want to point out, even though the rap is really helpful, we figured out this is called the musical alphabet. Ms. Lutz, can you tell us about the alphabet? Yeah, well, when you look at your xylophone or when you look at any at the lines and spaces too, you might notice that if you find your note A in the second space and then you just move up just a little bit, there's B. Move up a little bit, there's C, then D, then E, then F. And, and if you went into the space above F, you'd have G. And it is a pattern of, as you move up from low to high, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Mm -hmm. We don't go past G. We then repeat and go to A again, mm -hmm. which is why you see your lowest line here, which we will point to our pinky finger and start using our space right away, or our hand staff right away. Mm -hmm. um, that is going to be E, then F, then G, and then A starts over again. Mm -hmm. So if we were going to point below E, could you guess what note that might be? Well, if I do my alphabet A, B, C, D, E, oh, that'd be a D. D would go before E. And so as long as we're talking about going up and down, Please notice that these four, C, D, E, and F, have a little a little apostrophe next to them. That's because they're the high version of the letters down here, mm -hmm. that you can climb higher and you can climb lower in our musical alphabet. Mm -hmm. Now, Ms. Lutz, tell us about this rap. Well, I like to remember the lines separately and the spaces separately because it's just kind of easy then when you're looking at your note and you say, oh, I can see right away it's on a line. So I'm going to think about what my line possibilities are. Or I see right away it's on a space. Now what are my space options? So um, you can imagine that your hand is like the staff. Yes. Now we have five fingers, like the five lines. Very mm -hmm. handy. Uh -huh. right, Mrs. Uh -huh. um, but we want to point out that the real staff doesn't, doesn't look like your hand. It, the, all of the lines are very even, and all of the spaces are very even. But you can imagine your hand as a staff and that your fingers are spread wide apart, jazz hands style, mm -hmm. um, so that those spaces are visible too. Okay? And you want to really make sure that your pinky is the lowest note and your thumb is the highest note with your palm facing you because if you have your hand the opposite way, you're going to be very confused about what note, which notes are which. So start with your pinky and here's our wrap. Now let me tell you about the notes on the staff. They've all got a name and on their behalf we're going to save them for you today, and I bet you we can do it in a funky way. It goes E, G, B, D, F, uh-huh. Uh -huh. E, G, B, D, F, uh-huh. E, G, B, D, F, uh-huh. Those are the lines on the treble clef. F, A, C, E, F, A, C, E, F, A, C, E, and the spaces spell face. So now you can remember the spaces another way too, because they're not just in the rhythm with your rap, but they also spell face, F-A-C-E. Nice, so nice. all kinds of great tricks to yeah. remember what which letters are which and where they go. All right. Um, we're going to stop this screencast, and then please join us for the next one to work through our worksheet.